Congratulations. Congratulations. Yay. 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 What's the congratulations for? I just got my license. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How many goes to get your license? Two. The first one I got 100%, but it was one immediate fail. And the second time, got 113, so. And you already got some wheels. Yeah, so I just got my little Suzuki over there. Yeah. The Suzuki. Out the little charcoal one. So is that yours? Yeah. Lucky girl. Congrats. Well, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Over and let's start with breakfast at Novak's with what'd you what'd you have for brekkie? Macca's ice latte. Nice. Yeah, the drive-through. Because you got your own car, yes. you can do that. Thank you. That was so good. And um, so you got out a bit early. You went for the Macca's drive-through. Yeah. When did you get your license? Uh, about two or three weeks ago. Um, oh. Yeah, so I had it for a bit, but getting more and more used to it now. Which is fun. Congrats, man. Congrats, Thank congrats, you. congrats. Now. Over to Steve Bulbo. So, Congrats. ladies and gentlemen, breakfast at Novak's. Morning. We're talking about what everyone's up to today, what the market's doing, what happens in real estate. Steve, breakfast. What did you have? Coffee. Hey, Mick. I just had some coffee and some toast. Uh huh. Um, which is pretty much my normal Saturday staple. Uh huh. Just to get get it up and get it out. What'd you put on the toast, Vegemite? I just had no I've jam. Nice. I, I, I can't do Vegemite. Serbian I don't know jam. Why. Yeah. No, yeah, the plum one. We call it Peckmas. It's like a thick um, plum jam. You know what I'm talking about, mate. <laughs> the it's one that goes in the cakes. Mate, it's the best. It's like the, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, mate. what the a best. legend. The best. And uh, observations of the property market. Looking last good. week, this week. Yeah, what do you yeah, strong week last week. A lot, of, um, a lot of buyers out. And then again, I think this week we're estimating there to be more buyer activity today. So I know the whole crew is pretty busy with opens and everyone's pretty excited as well. Because we know we've got buyers coming. Now, have you, did you see, I don't know if anyone's been watching the newspapers, uh, but there's been media releases now that they're predicting a, I think it was 5 or 10% growth in the property market next year. I think it was a Westpac report. Check I, it out. I, on, I, heard, I, I heard something on the radio driving in that they're expecting 13% over the next two years. So 21, 22, a 13% increase in property prices in Sydney. Qu- question I have, Steve, is wasn't it meant to be 40 to 40%? All major banks said it could be up to 40% off property prices. This was only was it. 12 weeks ago. Yeah. I think it was 12 weeks ago or 16 weeks ago. Luke, good morning. I think everyone was saying the property market was going down and now you're getting this. 100%. So, look, the oh, be- I oh. don't know, we're on the beaches. We're not in the entire Sydney, but mate, it's great out here. It's great out here. But that's a swing of 60% oh, <laughs> when, you, when you're talking the ne- when you're talking negative 40. Oh, I don't know if the 40, 40 was ever there, to be honest. But, but yeah. it's a swing of opinion of 60%. Absolutely, it's crazy. It's nuts. It's crazy. But um, yeah, big day today, a lot of opens and exciting. We're gonna have some, we've got some good property on offer as well. Nice. Would you deliver my baby? Um, yes. Steve delivered her his own baby. <laughs> so he's, uh, he's the baby, he's the, he's the, we call him the deliverer affectionately. Now we're over to Sarge. Um, Sarge, how are you today? I'm very well. That's good. Sergeant Common Sense, you've been, you've earned this name in the last, <laughs> last couple of lives. Talk to us. Um, breakfast cupcakes today. Whoa. Uh, birthday in the Hicks family, Isabel turns 12, so... Today? Very exciting day. Happy birthday! Yeah, it's That's on my, massive. Uh, uh, my underpants are about 12 years old. <laughs> <laughs> That's about... When you get... When you get older, kids, you, you, you don't change your undies as much. You get about 12 years out of them. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's because it's not, is it budgetary or just don't care? Ah, uh, you get the bonds, bonds, uh, about 14 bucks a pair, but uh, they'll, they'll, they'll do you well. And then you just, you, now you know the quality that will last you longer. And the other thing is too, you, you're married and it's not like Zach, you know, he's getting something, you know, it's exciting for his girlfriend to wear or something. So do you, boxes or just normal briefs? Uh, no, 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 uh, boxes, boxes, yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, so good brekkie cupcakes for you. Now, <laughs> yeah. if you guys don't know uh, Sergeant Common Sense, he has, uh, he's probably one of the best dads uh, I've witnessed for the last couple of years. Uh, he's very into uh, supporting his daughter's uh, love and passion for surfing. It's also his. Um, but uh, so that's a, it's a significant birthday for you. Yeah, you know? one, under, one under 13. She's having a, a party, uh, about 17 kids going skateboarding this afternoon yep um so you're right uh, you'll enjoy it she won't change it all the next couple of years no (laughs) no but with with the market i i think um there was an article that uh, someone's reporting in news.com at the moment 
uh, about a Reserve Bank prediction. Be really careful where people are reporting on someone else's prediction. Uh, try to read the actual uh, prediction. I think what you said um, with the swing around in prices, if my, my sort of hunch is, if the banks really thought there was going to be a major price drop, why are still people borrowing with a 20% deposit? Why hasn't that moved to 30% or 35 or 40% um, to allow for a 40% drop and they'll still hold their good in it? The banks are like a casino, boys and girls. Never lose. Never lose. Sergeant Common Sense has spoken. Where's Margaret? Yeah. Yeah, she hates the lives. <laughs> Zach, how are you? Good morning, I'm good. How about you? Yeah, nice. Warming into the tummy today, breakfast at Novak's. We've had coffee. That's uh-huh. about it. We're running on liquids. Nice. Yeah. And um, family well, life good? Everything's good. Moved out on your own pad? Yeah, we've got our own pad. It's exciting times. And uh, what do you do at Novak's? Me, I'm Lisa and Michael's assistant. Yep. And today I've got a busy day of open homes and we've got two appraisals on this afternoon. Solid. You guys had a pretty uh, pretty big exchange week. Was that this week or last week? We've had a couple of big exchanges come up. We had a great one in Fairlight. That yep. was last week. Yep. We saw, we went unconditional on a great place in Beacon Hill yesterday, 280B, just off the Ringa Road there. Ringa Road. For 176. Big house. Big, big house. Big, 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 big house on a busy street, but a quiet house because it was a battle axe. Mm. Um, what that sell for? 176 it went for. It's good buying. If you've, good got buying. A, if you've got a big family, like family of four kids, five kids, that house was an absolute monster. Yeah. And the house was only like 10 years old. So uh, I reckon a tremendous upgrade for someone coming out of a three-bedroom house. Yeah, they're coming out of somewhere local, three-better, and we've also gone under contract on that one for them. Solid. Yeah. Really? Yeah, we're under contract currently. Mate, there you go. You're on fire. You take care. <laughs> Enjoy. You. Margaret, how are Hi, you today? Well, thank you. How are you? Good, good. This is the lady that you would never think would be shy on live because she's so confident in, 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 the, like in, in the everyday. But she has a go. Have a go. She has a go. I'll give it a good crack. Hey, Mark, uh, what's happening today? What did you busy, have for busy, breakfast? Busy, busy, um, Homemade zucchini frittatas. No. Yes. <gasps> yeah. You made in your home? In my own home. Wow. Yeah. How many of those buggers did you punch? Heaps, heaps. And yeah. coffee? No, yeah, lots of coffee. Couple of two coffees? Two coffees. Hey. Yeah. And what are you doing today at Novak? Oh gosh, it's been pretty busy actually the last couple of days. Fifteen yep. appraisals. No. Um, yes. Fifteen at rent, rental appraisals. So, so Margaret today. Margaret does rental rental uh, bring bringing in rental stock for clients, new clients and not existing clients. And uh, it's been, yeah, wow, that's yeah, big numbers. It's been flat out. What do you put that to? Are they, what, what, the people that are renting their places out, mm-hmm. are they going, by any chance, are they going north? Like Newcastle, sea change, tree change, or are they upgrading, downgrading? Upgrading. What are they doing? You know, good question, upgrading. Um, yeah. Most recently uh, renting out their two bedrooms, so they've outgrown. Yes. Young families. Yeah. Um, staying not, local. Staying local, not okay. in a position to buy. Yep. Uh, maintaining their assets. Yep. Keeping that. Yep. Um, but simply upgrading their home to a bigger um, living space, backyard. Yep. Uh, but homes, homes are in demand. Houses. I need houses. You need houses. I need houses. Okay. So people are coming out of the units and going to houses. Now the people that are coming out of the units, are their expectations silly high, silly low, or everyone's everyone's pretty pretty reasonable these days? Um, pretty reasonable, but as far as expectations with houses are concerned, it's about the price, the budget, but anyone is willing to spend between 900 up to about 1400 so, so what's a good price point. So what's the hot house number for something to rent where you'd go, that's going to rent like clap? Um, that, that price point from 950 to 1050 Bang okay. out the door any day, every day. And that's a four better, three better? Three, three to four better. Legend. Yep. Have a great day. Thank you very Thank much. You so much. Manly, signing up one at nine. See you later. Hey, yeah. good luck. What a legend. She's on fire. Charlie, how are you? Good, how are you? So good, good. We've got two Thank Charlies. You. Yes, we do. Charlie in the back. And how do, how Charlie does that go for you? Does it ever get confusing? Oh, yeah. Just had, a, just had it then. Jesus. And it's spelled sp- the same as well. Yeah. So it's spelled C H A R L I, which is uh, unique. Yeah, first that, one I've ever seen, actually. Is it? Yeah. I've got a Shani as a daughter. I've never seen another one. Really? S H A N I I. Oh, I I. Yeah, yeah, never yeah, seen. Nice. It's, it's a rare one, but yeah, that's a beautiful name. Now tell me, Brecky. Happening, yeah. Uh, what do you do at Novak's? 
I'm in the leasing at the moment, yep. in the leasing department, so I'm helping out with all the rentals and property management as well. Um, we've got a fair few opens today. I think we're at a steady 20, 25 opens uh, each week at the moment, which is good. It's new ones and still a few old ones from the market, but people are still out and about, like we say, every single week. So keep, The wheels keep on turning on they the truck. Do, yeah. we we keep on trucking. <laughs> um, so, um, so you're out there you're doing how many? How many open houses would you do today? I've got four today. So I've got one in uh, North Sydney, yep. um, and then a few around DY. Okay. And when someone rents a property out with us, what's the days you'd expect for that property to be on the market? Like from when it hits the market to when it gets a tenant gets located. Um, at the moment, usually about a week to two weeks. So it's pretty quick at the moment. Depending on what type of style property it is, houses can go in like a day. Yep. Um, the studios in certain apartment buildings can also go within like a few days. Yep. Um, and then ones that are kind of the stock standard around the whole market are kind of the week to two weeks. So in our industry, we call days on market the amount of days b- b- that the property was marketed to when a tenant was located and it was pr- removed from the market. How many days on market would, would that be out there? For yeah, a typical rental. About seven to ten. Solid. That's yeah. that's great. Yeah, that's really great. good. So it makes you feel confident if you're if you're renting your house out, unit out, or if you're uh, going to be buying a property's investment, it's going to be rented fairly quickly. Yeah, especially in the market that we're in. Yeah, definitely. Dude, have a great day. You thank too. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Stephanie, hostess with the mostess. <laughs> yes, this is a lady with a personality that is infectious and everyone loves her. Aww. Yes. Shucks. Yes, yes. And we're very proud Thanks, to have man. her out there in the field because uh, big personality. So, Thank you. tell me, uh, what do you do at Novak? Um, property management, yeah. And today I am from Curability, Curability, that was a mouthful, to Collaroy. Yep. Three places, amazing value, Curability, massive two bed- bedroom unit at only $509 per week. If that is cheap. You that cannot, is cheap. On your backyard is Sydney Harbour. It is glorious. It's wow. a beautiful spot, cafe culture, you know, the buzz of that kind of cafe culture. Do you, do you know what I reckon? Too. I reckon if I was a punter and I was looking for something to rent, and I hate to say this, I'd get in the city. Oh, right now? Right, yeah. Oh. Everyone's everyone's running from the city. True, very true. Uh, don't want to be there because they're not working there anymore. Very true. There's an exodus. I reckon if you wanted cheap rent, I'd go to the city. Yeah. I shouldn't say that in all the beaches. <laughs> but we're okay. Everything's renting well here, though, so we don't have to worry. Absolutely. That's how confident we are in the product that we can actually say something like that. Absolutely right. Absolutely And um, right. anything else? What did you have for brekkie? Did we go through that? Smoothie. No, we didn't. No. Okay. A smoothie. Great, easy, quick start to the day. Fills nice. you up. Nice, healthy. Nice. Now, today we're doing the open house challenge. So this this camera is um, going to be going through open houses. Staff don't know. And what's actually going to happen is whoever has the best presented, uh, we're going to be doing them live as well. Whoever has the best presented open house is up for 50 bucks. Plus tax. There is no cash at Novak. <laughs> <laughs> um, as in, it'll be net 50 net. Yeah, is what I'm saying. But that's. It's all about making it easier for clients to get into the property, making it uh, the property nice and presentable, even if the tenant hasn't left it presentable for us. It's all about having lots of information for your clients. That's what we promote our staff to do. The $50 challenge challenges on today. Watch out for it, Novak. Yeehaw. Legend. Perfect day to get out and see a property. Come and see, come and see one. We're not going to be on the beach. Well, you're not going to be on the beach, so no, that's perfect. Get out there. Thank you, hostess, with Thanks, the hostess, uh, Stephanie. Lave. How are you, Simona? Oh well, thank you. That's good. So, Simona, guys, uh, you've been uh, just so everyone knows, you you have been with us for a short time. Yep. Oh, learning, ten weeks. Learning very quickly. Um, how's it going? How's it going? What are you doing? Um, so at the moment I'm doing property management. Yep. So I'm um, assistant to Tina. She's the senior property manager. Today I'm doing opens of rental properties and taking care of our tenants. Nice. How's real estate been? Is it what you Great. thought it would be? It's much better. Really? Yes. <laughs> no. So uh, when, from the outside, what did you think real estate was going to be actually like? I knew it's going to be busy, yep. but I didn't know it's going to be this busy. Every day is different, but it's fun. I love the people I'm working with, yep. people I'm meeting every day. Everyone is different. They have different stories and yeah, it's great. It's awesome. And uh, you had your wedding anniversary this week. Yeah, that was last week. Actually. Last week? Yeah, hey. my first. 
Mate, she said that. <laughs> have a look on, um, is it your Instagram or your Facebook? Instagram. What an incredible, incredible photo. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. And uh, have a great day out there. Thank you. You enjoy. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, Legend. So there's Simona. Good morning. Hi, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think this is what it is. I think it's, I think it's, it's morning, man. It's, I think it's one of my favourites, guys. This is Genevieve. Hello. How are you? Genevieve, um, Brecky today. Today. Super sugar. Yeah. You can get two for five in the shop below me. Where's that? <laughs> in Chroma. Yep. Carrow Road, two for five bees. Okay, so how do you, um, also, how do you, when, uh, this is yours. Oh, that was James. I was going to steal it. I was yeah. considering it, yep, yep. but he actually doesn't have that much left. And uh, have you have you had the coffee intake in addition to the Vs? Not yet. Not today yet. That's on yeah, track. But, yeah, that's on track. And okay. um, what happened today out there? What's happened this morning out there with, with so Brecky you've done. Yep. Did you do any exercise? Oh, I walked the dogs around the block. Yeah. yeah You're a I bit did. of a dog fan? Yeah, I have two chihuahuas. Nice. Yeah, so I'm going to walk them, otherwise um, that just minimises the pee in the, on the balcony. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. That's, so, yeah. Nice. And they like to sniff and it keeps them stimulated. Keeps them out there. Yeah. And um, now property news for the week, uh, going out of last week, going into this week, what are you, what are you seeing? Uh, everything's just going so quickly. Um, everything that comes in, it's out within one to two weeks sort of thing. Um, we have a new house coming on next week. Um, I find people are really out there looking for family homes. There's not yeah, many available. Yeah, we're just saying that. Yeah, yeah, so we'll have one in Narrowena next week. Keep an eye out. Um, otherwise, yeah, a lot of things that we have today, I'm sort of expecting to lease by Monday as well. That's great. Yeah. It's great news. In these, in uh, apparently hard financial trouble times, uh, real estate in Northern Beaches seems to be... Um, Popping. Yeah. Yeah. Or would you say popping? Popping. Yeah. Okay. So it's not popping. even stable. It's actually popping. No, it's popping. I yeah, think wow. it's unpredictable. It's, um, yeah, popping in bursts. It's, yeah. Okay. Sick. Thanks, Legend. Thank you. Now, guys, we're going to finish off with James Lamplow. Interesting guy because he's in business doing uh, commercial leasing. That's right. Um, which is a good barometer of our, of our market as well. Yep. How are you, buddy? I'm well. What did you have well. for Bricky? I... Um, I've had a coffee and that's about it today. Solid. I'm not the biggest morning eater. So I go hard in the morning and then I go to lunch. And um, so just a coffee? Just a coffee. Oh, nice solid, easy. solid. Yeah. Um, how's, tell me about a deal you've done this week. So um, you, you do lots of deals during your weeks. But yeah. what deals, what's a typical deal that you would have done this week that you can share? Um, so a deal that just went through recently was a commercial leasing deal was a property on Fisher Road yep. um, or just the corner of Redmond and Fisher so 103 square meters um, great professional office used to be a law practice um, sort of repurposed it into a uh, child education uh, consultancy behavioral therapy all of those sorts of um, professional practices for children um, they've recently just gone in um, short little lease because of the COVID time one plus one but a really smooth transaction, happy client, happy owner, happy So staff. the owners, the actual owners of that property uh, who left that property yeah. bought yeah. a new property with us across the road. Yeah. That's interesting. They went bigger. Yeah. They've rented that out. The people that have taken this shop that you're talking about, where were they coming from? They've got another property. They've got another um, uh, space in D. I'm not sure where it is, but it's it's around the corner in D. Y. Yep. Um, so they were just upsizing. So now they've got two. So. Interesting thing about that. The other one? No. So the interesting thing about that is, businesses are still booming. They're flourishing. So during this period where everyone thinks that it's just on the on the downhill, the decline. Yep. There are still some businesses and industries that are still able to move forward and and pump up. So. Um, and you're talking to a lot of tenants every yeah. week. Yeah. Uh, what's the general feel out there from from commercial tenants looking at property? You're, yeah. uh, you're probably maybe a bit biased because they're probably more positive people. Sure. But not. Maybe not, because they could be downsizing as well, those guys, yeah. as well as upsizing. Yeah. What's the vibe? It's it's more a case of um, trying to offer some assistance with advice, because a lot of people don't have anyone to really get advice in the commercial sphere from. Yep. So um, whether it's people I've dealt with in the past or new clients that are coming along, it's more that they just wanted to see what's happening in the market. Is it a good time to upsize or downsize, depending on their situations? Um, 
helping with trying to negotiate different deals and prices and just little things like that that are not necessarily they're not doing anything for us but it's just helping the people out there to um yeah inform their decisions better cool and the vibes it's it, the vibes sort of positive with people out there or, 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 or they're covering their bum running for cover depends lost, on lost depends money. on the industry that you're in yeah so some industries what industries are doing good that you're dealing with yourself well, just, just on this example, things within the, the, the education sector, the child sector, things like that are still doing really, really well. Um, there's been a lot of funding from the government going into these, sort of, um, these sorts of businesses, um, as we'll know for any parents out there, things like free childcare and stuff like that that have pumped up through COVID, which they didn't really have as much of before. Yep. Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not a parent yep. 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 in Australia. Don't know. Might be somewhere else. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so there's, there are industries that are, that are still doing well. Um, okay, cool. Industries, have you packed up any shops lately? Like, are the, uh, in co- commercial leasing is your business. Yeah. Um, have you found that you've had to lock out any tenants from not paying rent? Um, pers- I per- personally, no. I think everyone, as far as I know, I don't do the commercial property management side of things, so I'm yep. not so sure about the books for all of our management. Yep. And we have about 300 or so commercial managements, and yep. there's been a lot of... Um, a lot of deep conversations between tenants and landlords. A lot. A lot. And um, what did I hear you say the other day, Mark? We've got 35 tenants on a payment plan, but the rest of it are paying rent. Yeah. Is that right? Residential. That's residential. That's out of 1,600. That's out of 1,600. 1,600 residential. Wow. Yeah. And then most of the yeah. commercial. That's actually on. a good stat, isn't it? So yeah. guys and girls, just to rehash that stat, uh, we, we managed 1,500 to 1,600 residential tenants, and there's 35 of those that are on a payment plan due to COVID. So it's a pretty interesting number, how low it is, yeah. albeit the commercial number's a lot different. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, um, the commercial appointment at 9am, we better shoot. Giddy up. See you guys. Love ya. Take care. Thanks, buddy. Pleasure. Cheers, man. Have a good day.